Then as soon as I cook what I miss. Ah, uh, nothing. I just got in there two minutes ago. You haven't missed a thing. This is the moment I've been waiting for for two whole days. How's our audio? It's good. We got a guy in there. He's wearing a wire. I live in the lab up there. Hey, what about anybody they murdered yet? No, not yet. How about how about people they're going to murder in the future? No, not yet. <laughs> Damn it, I can't take this pressure. We are going to take them down if it is the last thing we do. If you had to kiss one of those FBI guys, which one would it be? That's disgusting. Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you fucking lying? Get your head on straight. Okay, okay, but if you had to, like, say they got a cop battery hooked up to your garlic knots, and the only way out is if you kissed one of them. Who would you choose? Huh, well, under those circumstances, I guess I'd have to go with, uh, hmm, Johnson. Oh! oh! Me, I can tell he's really listening, you know? Yeah. 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 The only thing that matters is that we get a confession. Never have I ever been uh, skinny dipping. Oh, yes, you have. No, I really haven't. The fuck you haven't? You and Sammy Five Legs went down to the river, went skinny dipping on my birthday. And you didn't even invite me. What, you didn't think I'd find out? Hey, Vito, my brother, let it go. That's a spicy meatball. Vito, I swear to you, you're thinking of someone else. Are you calling me a liar? No, Vito. I am going for skinny dipping. That's not a crime. But motherfucking no, damn it, it should be. I swear. No. I will send you back to the spaghetti alley, you can't hey. believe you only a fucking liar. What in the name of Little Caesar's ghost? It's going on down there! Nothing got better! Good one, Fido! Jeez! What are you trying to do, Fido? Oh, oh, oh! He should have to do a dare! No! Yeah! yeah. No! Yeah. yeah! Okay, okay, okay! I dare you to call up Skinny Toochins on the telephone! Oh. Not that rat! And tell him that you love him! Oh. <laughs> Skinny Tuchin, Skinny Tuchin is only the most dastardly, nefarious criminal New York City has ever known. He took out an entire orphanage with a crane and a ball. A wrecking ball? Yeah, a wrecking ball. Okay, if I had him on the phone right now, I would tell him to rot in gangster hell. I love you. Oh, oh, Speaking of bastards, Cordoza, how'd that hit on Mancini go? Oh. You took out Victor Mancini? Wow! Tell us all about it. He begged for his life. Okay. So, we're in the car, right? Just the two of us. He's in the trunk and I'm in the front seat. And I take him to this secluded spot in the woods that I know where I take guys to... You know! Did you go all the way? Oh, I knew you were gonna do it! Well... Not exactly. You didn't do it. I, I got nervous. Nervous? You mean you took him all the way out there and then you didn't do anything? Well, I... I did give him the kiss of death. You dog. <laughs> Listen, they almost slipped up there. You gotta get him. You gotta slip up again. What would you know about it? What the fuck would you know about it? I have been chasing these guys for two whole days! <laughs> What I think it is. Hey guys, 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 come on, come on. Let's go to the mall. Oh my god! A microphone! A fucking microphone! Who's on the other end of that wire? Johnson. Johnson! Oh! oh that's so embarrassing! Oh! oh. I want to hit you in the eye like a big piece of pie. Get in the rain, Oh, God, I'm going to see the court tomorrow. I don't even know if the 